Russia is upgrading one of its main battle tanks, the T-62M, for combat operations against Ukraine, with new footage on social media showing an uptick in the quantity of these tanks being brought towards the front line. As picked up by Defense 24, the last two to three months have been characterized by a high number of videos showing refurbished and modernized Russian T-62M tanks being transported by rail towards the front. The news outlet states that some of the footage is likely the same transport captured in different regions, but several of them are materials concerning different machines. The first of the discussed footage comes from early July and shows refurbished T-62Ms with added Contact 1 reactive armor blocks on the front of the hull and sides and rear of the turret. The vehicles have their large caliber 12.7mm DSHK machine guns and side protective skirts removed for transport. The footage was reportedly taken at the Kamensk Shaktinsky station in the Rostov Oblast. The second video appeared in late July and concerns more modernized T-62s presenting a version of both the T-62M and the T-62MV variants. This may indicate a continued lack of standardization in the work carried out on vehicles withdrawn years or even decades ago. In addition to standard ERA blocks, they also receive roofs or cages on which reactive armor elements resembling those used in T-80BVM for some time were also mounted. Unlike the previous footage, these tanks have side armor skirts attached, likely made of reinforced rubber. It's possible they also received communications jammers. The vehicles underwent basic modifications including the installation of anti-drone cage armor and the addition of sparsely placed reactive armor blocks. The news outlet considers that the 103rd tank repair plant is probably responsible for the work on most of the mentioned tanks. Spare parts deliveries probably originate from North Korea, which allow for the successive repair and modernization of T-62s. Considering that the mentioned facility received a contract in 2022 to carry out this type of work for 800 vehicles, it seems that all available key components in the Russian industry have already been mostly used up. The Korean drip, which has reportedly been ongoing for months, is thus very valuable for the Russian armed forces. So far, Moscow has lost at least 180 T-62 family tanks in the fighting against Ukraine, of which about 146 are irrecoverable losses, according to data from the Oryx service. The T-62M is an upgraded version of the standard Russian-made main battle tank T-62. It was taken in service by the Russian armed forces in 1983. The T-62M is fitted with the Schexner laser beam-riding missile system, passive armor protection, a V55U engine and the R173 communications system. The vehicle's mobility was also improved by implementing a new V55U engine with 620 horsepower.